<clears throat> Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's been a couple days, couple games, two games, actually. Uh, the Flyers lose in overtime to Columbus. Um, probably should have lost, probably 4-2. to two. But we had a two-goal two, two, um, two goal comebacks in this game. Um, very good plays from the team all around. Hart made great saves. Um, these fucking decisions with the puck from Hayes to Konechny to D'Angelo to Ristolainen and Sanheim, all of them. It's just, what, like, Hayes, why on earth did you think that was going to work? A slap pass. That, that's not going to do it. And then he, he, they, they're so tired they can't get back and Hayes is the only one back and he's so tired he can't even play defense. So he just took himself and his def- and his players, his teammates, out of the fucking play, and it was just tic tac toe goal. And, and I mean, we got a point, but we probably should have just lost in regulation. To be honest, um, I think Hayes needs to sit for maybe a game or two. Um, Konechny had two points, which I'm very happy about. Um, but I, I think Hayes, maybe Sanheim can join him watching the press box because those two players, man, I, I I don't know what they do, what they're watching on the ice, especially Sanheim. Like, has he even fucking had a point this season? Because I'm I'm curious as to um what he's done this year. I have no idea. I I haven't heard his name on the score sheet. Maybe he has an assist maybe this year, but. We pay you. We paid you eight mil because you're an offensive threat, and you haven't done shit except turn the puck over nonstop. So, um, I don't know. He needs to get his shit together too, and maybe a time or a game or two in the press box is somewhere where he needs to be for a little bit. Um, Carter Hart. None of the goals really were his fault. Uh, it's pretty bad when you know. When when um, connecting turned the puck over, I would have just let Sandheim just dump it down the wall or something, or maybe even take a shot. Um, the shot lane was there, and Konechny shot the puck into Jenner. I don't know what happened with TK after that. I think maybe his helmet got knocked off by Jenner. I don't I don't really know. I I didn't really see that, but it was a breakaway. So. Konechny made a mistake, but he didn't make up for it with two po- two points in the game. He, he scored the game tying goal. Uh, Sealer with a good shot and on the th- on the third goal. I mean, we erased two goal two two goal two uh, two. Hold on, two deficits, two goals, but twice in this game. And we I probably said that wrong, but we still you know come out with a point where we shouldn't have probably. Uh, Johnny Hockey still continues to destroy us every chance he gets, which I don't blame him. I think I think I would probably do the same thing, you know. And and it's just these these idiotic idiotic turnovers that could be very well avoided. Like Hayes, you could have just fucking flipped it down low. You had two people down low off the boards, and he chooses to fucking slap pass it. Where there's sticks and two people cover like in Konechny's path, like in the path of Konechny. So why the fuck would you do that? If you're gonna do that, try to sauce it at least, you know. But the better play would have been to knock it up the boards, hit it off the boards. Like they're just skating out of the fucking zone with it. Like shoot it on fucking net. I think we had two shots the entire overtime. Because they're looking for this pretty fucking play. Like, Columbus just sat there and was like, okay, we're just going to wait for you to fuck up. It's going to bound to happen eventually, and that's what happened. The Flyers fucked up, and it went the other way and on a 3 on one and they scored. And it was all in haze. I mean, I don't know what the fuck he, what he is looking at. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea. He had he had time to make a play and he chose to do a fucking slap pass. I, I don't get it. Poor Carter Hart. 
and even Felix Sandstrom. Felix Sandstrom is actually played pretty solid. Like, I know I've been hard on him, and a lot of the, the fan base has, but the goaltending has been solid. I mean, it's not like it's been like one goalie st- stood out. Both have made saves, but it's just this fucking team and these fucking undisciplined penalties like Tippett. One oh, with Robinson, T- the the whole fucking was it tripping or interference on on Robinson or or tipping on Robinson when his stick got caught between his legs. I don't remember what they called, but it was just lazy. Like fucking move, move your feet. And this is why Tortorella has has already blown a, a gasket already. Like uh, uh, fucking undisciplined penalties. Undisciplined. Now, Corelli should have got a boarding penalty on the hit on Hayes earlier, but he didn't. And uh, for the roughing call on Corelli, I don't believe that's that should have been called, to be honest. I mean, Hayes kind of did try to knock him on his ass, and he, Hayes got put on his ass. So, shouldn't have been a penalty on Corelli, but he should have got called for boarding. So... Hayes could have got called for probably charging or roughing, which he did, uh, for roughing, but, um, it was just, I don't get it. And, and for the, and now, uh, who commentators, Boucher and whoever the fuck that other guy was, um, th- these two teams aren't compar- comparable at all. The Blue Jackets have snipers. They have better talent than the Flyers. They have Lonnie. They have Voracek. Yeah, they're hurt, but they still have them. They're still on the fucking roster. They have Cylinder. They have... Um, I'll probably butcher his name. I'm not going to... That's number 59. Ch- Chinnikov? I forget his name. Um, they have... F- Foudy. They have Foudy. They have a lot of people who can fucking score. Boom Jenner is lightening up. So, I mean... For the, for those commentators to say that they're they're kind of similar, they're not. They're not similar similar at all. The Flyers, uh, they were lucky to even come back two from two goals down twice. So Columbus made mistakes and we pounced. Um, everyone said like it, it wasn't going to be smooth sailing this year. We were we were expecting to be bottom feeders, basically. Um, but what I think, I think we're still in, good, in a good spot in the standings. But, um, like, for those people who think, like, oh, we're going to get Connor Bernard if we, like, you know, win the lottery. Okay, that's great. So you're going to bring him here where we have no talent as it is right now for maybe, like, we have, you know, a few, but not, like, standout stars, like, we don't have, like, a Crosby, like, somewhere, someone who can mold Bedard, you know, we don't have anyone like that, so Bedard's gonna have to come in here and save the franchise, and I don't see Bedard really doing that, he's gonna have to, he's gonna be like McDavid in Edmonton, I mean, Drysaddle wasn't really much until McDavid got there, once McDavid went down with an injury, Drysaddle took over that team, and then they now are gelled together and are playing really good. So we don't have anyone like that. No one, maybe TK, maybe Konechny. I mean, we have Atkinson still. I mean, I don't know when the fuck he's coming back. I it just seemed like he got hurt and then that was it. But that would have been nice to have him. Um, I, I just. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> they make the same dumb fucking decisions for the since they lost to... Who the fuck was it? The beginning of this losing streak was what? Ottawa? We're on a four-game losing streak? Yeah, four-game four losing streak. And since we lost, I believe, to Ottawa, it's been just downhill. These... these this team is just constant turnovers, offensive turnovers at the defensive blue line, offensive blue line, neutral zone, behind the net. 
And then they, when they turn it over, they just fucking stand there and, and move their stick back and forth. I feel like I'm watching a fucking, a fucking David Hackstall Philadelphia Flyers team, you know? And, and, I mean, they scored more than a goal today, that's fucking good. You know, I'm, I'm just so tired of <laughs> these turnovers and these, <clears throat> these dumb fucking penalties that Tippett fucking takes, and, oh my god, man, it, it's every... Every game Tippett has been in the box. Oh, and there's another thing. Morgan Frost. Uh, I, I I don't know what he was doing at, near the end of the second, but uh, he takes the puck off of D'Angelo, or D'Angelo gives him the puck, and he just skates backwards, like, well, da 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 and gets pickpocketed. <laughs> he has no urgency in his play. He should be fucking benched, too, because... Honestly, if I was Fletcher, I would be on the phone with Vancouver because I hear Bo Horvat's available, and either to him or St. Louis for O'Reilly. So I'd be throwing either more. I'd be throwing Morgan Frost on both of those deals because you need a center and you need some goal scoring. And Horvat and O'Reilly can still go get your goals. So I mean, Horvat's not a, not horrible, but um we, we can we'll see about that we'll see but uh, i would be on the phone and i'd be in, like i would include morgan frost in this deal like if you want morgan frost in a fucking third so be it i i don't care morgan frost in a third if you don't want a third i give you maybe maybe um it's fucking name zamula or fucking i don't even know who else we have <laughs> i have no idea who's now in the fucking phantoms no idea Cam York will be probably call it up soon, but um, maybe maybe Justin Braun might be thrown into a deal. Morgan Frost and Braun for Horvat and some other scrub in the AHO, or maybe a fourth. I don't fucking know. You need something here because I mean it's great that Connect he's putting pucks in the net, but it's a, it's we need more, <clears throat> and it's it's. Honestly, now that I really think about it, no no type of goal scorer was ever going to save this fucking franchise. Johnny Hockey could have came here, and it would still be the same thing. Johnny Hockey will be doing all the fucking work, and it, 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 he'll be doing the same as he is in Columbus right now for Philadelphia, if we signed him. It, it, would, it would be the same thing. Uh, I don't know. Honestly... I, 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 I lost, I've lost all my words right now. This team is really frustrating me with their fucking dumb, I'm going to say it again, dumb fucking turnovers. Disab undisciplined plays. Uh, Carter Hart and, and or Felix, Felix Sandstrom stand on their heads when, on a nightly basis. Like, I, I, I don't get it. The power play, they just try to do the, Always, it doesn't matter. Even even when Drew was here, they still always look for the fucking pretty pass instead of the fucking one timer. Shoot the fucking puck. Like at the last what eighteen seconds of the third, they just stood there and fucking passed it back and forth. Shoot the fucking puck. That's when the bench has to fucking say something. Yo, shoot! You got like eighteen seconds, ten seconds. Yeah, yell the fuck are you doing? But, like I said, if I was Tortorella, Sandheim be benched or put in the bre uh, press box for a, a game or two. And Hayes needs to be put in the press box for a game or two. Um, and Frost. So, three players need to be put in the press box. Call Phantoms up. Call some Phantom players up and have them play. I mean, what... We are like we, none of us are expecting you to make the playoffs anyway, so you might as well just try out whatever you can. So, all right, guys, uh, it's been fun. We're up against Boston on Thursday, so that should be fun to watch. I uh, can't wait to see how many fucking turnovers we have on that one. All right, I hope you all have a good evening. Adios.